Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I sent you love. Um, I think you all can probably or have been kind of going through this. And you will probably throughout your process, depending on where you are. And this is about our dreams. Um, I know for myself, the early stages of my awareness to my awakening process, which of course began back in um, sometime in 2018. Um, I have to go back to my journals and, and really start to see um, when I began to really notice it. But anyway, my dreams back then were fear-based. I dealt with a lot of um, dreams that resulted in feeling um, abandoned in my dreams. Um, a lot of chaos, a lot of um, terrifying moments um, that could have stemmed from, of course, um, being left alone, being unloved, or even those um, scary type horror type movies or dreams, excuse me. And my abandonment issue lingered for a very long time. The attachment of needing to be loved, accepted, um, and not judged by others lingered the most. But of course, so did fear um, in terms of, um, you know, the boogity man kind of concepts also lingered. There are going to be certain types of dreams that you're going to have that is going to help you work through what you are experiencing on an, on an emotional level throughout your entire life. The reason why we are dreaming is really to help us heal on some level um, and also to give us information. If we aren't open to information, of course, we're not going to receive that information that resides within our dreams. So as we begin to heal ourselves, your dreams are going to help purify yourself still. Um, it's that kind of a double teaming. In our reality, every day when we are healing ourselves as a human self, we are healing ourselves. And then when we go to sleep, we are still regenerating ourselves, healing ourselves, but we're working in the, the um, spiritual reality of all of the pain and trauma that we have carried with us um, lifetimes, this lifetime, whatever, through our spiritual bodies. Um, so lately here for myself, I have definitely been, and this is February the 2nd, I have been um, for a couple of weeks um, definitely having a lot of dreams um, some dreams I can remember, um, all day long. Some dreams I have to definitely hurry up and get them down first thing in the morning. And then sometimes I remember them and then they're just gone in a snap. But my dreams have been taking me back to either time frames or people who I have associated with throughout my life. Now, I am making this video because I have um, heard a lot of people um, being confused as to why these dreams are really taking place. And I'm really focusing here on those types of dreams that are in terms of past relationships or uh, broken relationships. Um, some people have been having these great dreams of past loved ones in relationship wise where they are so fantastic 
they um, have united within their dream state and or reunited in their dream state and life is just beautiful and so when they wake up there's that inner conflict of did I really make the right choice on breaking up with this individual now I and I think it's really important to make this a video because of this type of conflict that I know a lot of people are probably experiencing as a result of this um, this um, spiritual purification that's taking place when we go back to old relationships that probably failed or those people in our lives who have harmed us in our dream state it's still to help us function better in our reality so although you may have past loved ones reappear into your dream state and your relationship is just perfect it doesn't necessarily mean that you made a bad mistake in your past by cutting it off breaking off or moving on with your life it means you're healing on a deeper level you know I have had many people who have harmed me um, emotionally physically whatever it is there has been a lot of heartache that has stemmed from my past because I have been the type of giver of giving of giving of trying of trying and of never knowing my own true light and power that I was always giving away what was mine and people were taking it taking it because they knew that they could they knew they can take advantage of me they knew that they can speak verbally and it would cause me harm they knew that they could always do anything that they wanted to do because I was in a weakened state others feel who you are without you speaking so I have been healing a lot um, and I have been, been I have been taking back to past relationships even if they were brief it doesn't matter if it was one week a couple of years when people harm you it leaves an imprint of pain within you and it is so important for us to be able to heal now in our spiritual journey our healing journey here um, we won't often be taken back purposely to or consciously to um, certain relationships because it's not really necessary that's why when we dream we are doing it then because in our our waking moments it's more important to heal those deep rooted traumas that have been replayed consecutively and persistently over and over again like the, the true root of the pain that we must really face um, but then we have that little bonus that when we are finally resting in our physical form that our mind our spirit and our heart is still functioning you know, allowing us to dream away and forgive and make amends with those who have caused us some sort of harm no matter how small or how great it was so if you have been experiencing relationships or dreams that are bringing up past relationships don't get too wrapped up and how beautiful you may have felt within that dream state I know it's natural to wake up 
and feel excited about that dream. But you will also get to a point when you have really healed and when you are a finally an observer of life that even when you wake up from a dream that is either beautiful or it could be terrifying to one individual, you are going to wake up neutral. And you will, you will notice, you will understand either there's a message there for you or you are healing. And so if you are still waking up with a form of reaction, it's okay. It's part of the process. And as you continuously move forward in healing yourself and learning to become a master of your own life, of your emotions, you will eventually wake up and it'll just be. You'll know, oh, I was healed of this or I received this message within my dream tonight. Um, but try to, when you do have those types of dreams that make a huge impact and make you continuously think, try not to continuously think about it throughout your day in terms of it taking away from you. I think that's where we become more burdened again or can become burdened again. Those who think that the relationship it should be rekindled, they're not taking in a message. They're not taking in that healing process. Now their mind is thinking one way and they're thinking, well, maybe I should go back. They're having doubts, more negative ideas and thoughts, emotions. They're now following a healing process in the dream. So, I thought about doing that video, this video, and uh, because I have definitely been experiencing healing dreams, and um, I know you all are as well, so I, I hope it helps. Um, remember to journal everything about your life that is of huge significance, or not huge significance, like a cold, all those little things. Um, your mood swings, whatever is taking place, and the great things too. And don't forget to jot down your dreams as well. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.